Welcome to the Hall of Sciences in my Let's Play. And welcome back to another Let's Play episode. <laughs> this is Dallas here, and I finished this room somewhat. As you can see, we have a bunch of different display cases. I'm going to add some greenery in here too. It's not going to be this white, but oh, I love how clean it looks. I said I love how clean it looks, Bob. But yes, as you can see, I have seven different display cases. I think down here, I think I just want to put, I have two skulls in it. I want to put either a zombie or a creeper skull on those. Uh, RTX might make it look weird. Let's fill up the rest of these. Does anyone have this issue but me? Where you have to constantly leave your game to get the rain to stop even though you slept? I think that's been a bug in the game since they've updated weather. They haven't fixed it. <laughs> I'm already complaining. Good job. So, I completely bypassed working on this area last episode because I just went straight to the underground section which I loved so much, but uh, we need to focus up here a little bit, so I just got this hall done, and oh, I love how mighty it looks. I made the ceiling really tall, so it just looks like it's an official hallway. My god, the amount of iron that went into this look, <laughs> and the amount of time to place each one of these with a piston is immeasurable. But I like the way it looks, so I got a little pot section here. This is like one of the rarest ones for me. I only have two of these, so I put that in there. I have an end plant right there. I don't know if I'll keep this. I just ran out of ideas. Leather armor and shield. In the middle, we got the dragon head. Over here, we got some exotic plants. We got some skulk and a shrieker in there. And we got some mob heads. But yeah, I'm getting this all finished up. We got a nice hallway here. I think that's just going to be either a window or a balcony edge. I finished up all of this. It's all looking clean and fresh. Oh, it feels so nice being enclosed by walls and ceilings. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this security office now which i'm so excited to do because now i can use those new maps and try to figure out something now i've been debating on going to make new maps with new borders as you can see these are gray borders i was thinking about making a white border map uh i don't think i need to and these don't belong here i think i need to do black screen oh that looks just so good meat oh i feel like i've neglected this part of town I've killed off a lot of these cows because I think they were causing me lag, so this place hasn't really been used. It's got the leather I need, though. This place is pretty cool. Look at that. They used to have three different blocks right there. I think it was just normal dirt or something, but Enderman stole all three of those blocks. Isn't that annoying? Hello? Don't you worry, I'll come back here. There's shulker boxes. Ooh. Ooh! What? Why are these still here? Remember this? Oh, it kind of brings back memories. These old little workshops. Oh, well, that leads down to my mine. I like having these workshops because it's always nostalgic coming back to these. Ooh, an old map. What's this? <gasps> oh, wow. That was when we just had the nuclear power plant and the villager breeding area finished. And Kelpco. That's why it's important to take maps at stages of your builds and make sure to lock them too. Okay, so, oddly enough, I can't get those buttons I made on this map last episode to look good on their own. Every time I place them, it's just like, they look so out of place. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or something, but I've spent the past four hours making this. Most of that time is from <laughs> gathering the snow, so you can only imagine how long it took to place this whole layer. This is only an outline, as you can see by the map I'm holding. I'm experimenting right now, I think... I think this will look good. It'll give it a bit of a 3D look if I do it all around the outside instead of just being a flat white color. We're really getting into pixel art on this channel. <laughs> all right, look at this. I think when I have a bunch of monitors next to each other, they'll be able to stand out with the, of course, having this bezel. I created like a 3D power button over there and I love this. I put a little, it looks like it's laser engraved SSC at the bottom. It looks, I had to do that to make it stand out a bit. That's kind of why you see every other shadow down here on the map. It looks a little stupid, but it's because it's elevated one. If I did it at the same level as this, I wouldn't have those weird dotted lines across the top and bottom, but you can use that to your advantage to fill out some spaces. So now that I have a whole new monitor for this lab, that means I have to create a bunch of new text <laughs> for these monitors. Here's an example, by the way, why I don't do curves around this because Although it may look better in some way, the square corners keep it that Minecraft feel. I'm not trying to go too realistic. I just want to explain that. I could safely say it's been 
many years since I've harvested from this patch. Although this was more meant for looks, because as you can tell, we got little mini pumpkins. Even one in a barrel. My iron supply is dwindling fast. Do I have any here at least? I do. Can't take it all though. Never do that to yourself. Always leave a little bit in your mass supply because there's always moments where you'll need a little bit for something. I've learned the hard way. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep that one. This one though. I've had this for so long and I love it so much. It just looks like I sketched a cube. <laughs> or we're studying a cube. Oh gosh, I always get a heavy heart flying over this place, but we're going to make it look abandoned here soon. Not too abandoned. I don't want to mess it up too much because I still want to come back here and look at it every once in a while. I need some gunpowder. Ooh, nice. Got a hefty supply. And there's a lot of gunpowder. My main new mob farm has been producing a lot of. Just coming up here to check on Calyx. Yeah, I think it was Calyx. Wow, look at you working away. I'm so proud. I said I'm proud. The security office is coming along well. It's pretty much finished here. Uh, I put up some signs. It says, security, please have documents ready. Please place metallic objects on the conveyor belt. Your items will be safe. This is for the safety of SSC. Once ready, please walk through the door to your right. So I have a conveyor belt here. Usually you would just do weapons and then you walk through here. Voila, you grab your items. But look at this though. Oh, it turned out so good. This was the main vision I had having these white monitors because as you know the gray i tried it, it doesn't look good above these these are like the new and improved monitors for this facility we'll still use old ones first of all i'm not going to put a villager in here these are going to be the guards of this place so whoa i've never seen that effect we're going to give you a name you are the security officer here i knew he was going to do that it's going to get annoying well he goes up to that window to check <laughs> but i have four different maps here um so the first one is a loading bar maybe i can go there Next one is a scan of maybe when it scans the people going through that. Some of these are going to be used down below in the other lab. Listen, I love these. I know I'm doing them a lot, but I love these things. They make, I mean, look how much is bringing this room together. And then I also have, because I'm going to be the one walking through here most of the time. So it's always my point of view. Hi, how you doing? So I'm going to put that as my little like badge there. It says Dallas CEO slime. Oh, I have 14 unread messages. I would like to have a black screen of this, but that means I would have to gather thousands of blocks of snow and go to the end and do that. I'm not gonna do that. Should I just put this one here? No, nope, that's too busy. I love these little SSC logos too. It looks like you could rub your finger across it. It's like, what do they call it, embossed? I can't stop looking at it. I love this control panel. <laughs> All right, so I have been digging away. I have two beacons up now. We have one in there, one in here, which is weird because Sometimes where I'm working right now, I can't reach it, but it's right behind there. Oh, it's because I'm so low. I forgot beacons. If you set it at this level, you can go up however high you want and you'll still get the effect because you have to be around the beacon beam. But if you go below it and it's at this level, you can only go down like 30 blocks and you lose the effect. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to build the archives. This is where a lot of storage is going to go and a lot of other things within the lab. So I'm gonna take these rail carts and they are gonna connect here because this is where a lot of the storage is gonna go. And I mean, lots of it. But there's gonna be other things down here and I want it to have its own unique look. So, oh, by the way, I was dealing with hazardous material. So I have my hazmat suit on. But uh, if this looks familiar at all whatsoever, in the lower, lower offices of the back rooms of the last lab, we built a room with a nuclear bomb in it that's being worked on. If you remember what I'm talking about, I absolutely loved, loved the style of that room. So the lower levels of this lab are going to have that style and effect. So I'm going to be building a walkway through here and it's going to turn right here and go that way. And all the areas around here are just going to be stacked boxes full of storage, similar to this. Speak, hey, look at this, by the way. I was very curious if I was going to find one where I'm building this lab. Where the heck is it? What the heck? Heck, Jesus. But, uh, we have a spawner. This is awesome news. Oh, got a golden apple. This is old loot. It's a zombie spawner. So, instead of running home, because I'm using my mending tools to clear out big areas, instead of constantly running home to repair my tools, it's in a weird spot, but I could turn that into an XP farm. I guess it could be part of this area down here. I made a new map, by the way. Yeah, that's right. So, for example, we could have like a credentials thing right there and the one I made. Um, it doesn't really fit the vibe 
of this a whole lot, I guess. I think I went too round, <laughs> which I spent so much time on it, trying to perfect it. Um, it's it was supposed to be an iris scanner or something like that. You'd walk up and put your eye to it and it scans your eye, but it really just looks like a giant green button. So I could probably use it for something else. And it doesn't look Minecrafty enough. Kind of how I did these bezels. They're like very squared off. I feel like I should have made this more square. From a distance, it looks phenomenal. I mean, I didn't even look up anything. That was just my first try at a sphere with shading. I've never done pixel art before, so I'm pretty impressed with myself, um, but I don't know where I'll use that one. <laughs> kind of just looks like a slime ball. Okay, we've got plenty of shipments in. I've been breaking my back, piling them down here. Oh, this is such a cool look. I love this painting so much. It just, look, I mean, obviously it looks like a giant crate. So yeah, we got a bunch of different things. I made sure to not make too much of the same crate in one area. So I mix in chiseled bookshelves, looms, actual barrels, these crates, even got some like kelp. I got some copper blocks, even got cages over here. This door is going to go to our new XP farm. And you know what I like about that? And that's one thing I'm really keeping in mind here at this new Slime Science Center, is every room is gonna have a purpose, no matter what it is. It could be the most outlandish thing, but my archives down here in mass storage is gonna have an XP farm down here. So it'll give us the opportunity to come down here all the time. And I think that's really important. Um, well, for example, my end, you know how I built that giant library and put so much time into it. Thing is, you don't go to the end too often, at least on my world, I don't. So I only get to see that place like once in a blue moon. So I learned my mistake. I'm thinking of expanding it more this way, but we'll see, I'm gonna continue working in here. Why does thunder sound so bad in bedrock condition? <laughs> I was on Java recently and the thunder is so soothing and relaxing on there, but here on bedrock, it sounds like TNT going off in your ear, no matter how what depth you're at, too. If you're down at Deep Slate, it just sounds like TNT going off. It sounds awful. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the amount of crates I have in here now. I don't want to overdo it, even though I did. Um, but it looks so cool to walk into this. So I tried to limit how many chests I put down because I know chests for a fact cause lag. I don't know about paintings though. Like my computer isn't throttling in here and I have lots of these paintings, but uh, yeah. So I have little pathways around here. We could add some hidden stuff. I even have something like this. Could put a guy in there, which I most likely will. But yeah, just piles of chests. Maybe we'll, I mean, I will store stuff here. As I dig out the lab, this is where I'm gonna store all the material. Got some ancient maps here. <laughs> but as you can see, I always keep two rails because I have a plan for one of them. Um, but this goes all the way over here and I got a little computer set up. Maybe they're tracking shipments and all that. This is going to lead down a hallway with the same color palette as this. A trick I did, by the way, to make this look a little bit cleaner is I didn't even touch the ceiling other than clearing out the diorite, granite, and dirt. And that just leaves these like holes in the wall and I think it looks a little bit interesting. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna build that XP farm in between episodes. That takes a while. Oh my gosh. I actually wanted to work on this today. I forgot. <laughs> Dang it. How much is in here? Two stacks? That's all I have here. I have seven in a row there. And this isn't that efficient. I learned someone said you can actually put mud. Can you put these on mud? If so, you can even put the hopper below it because since mud isn't considered a full block, whatever lands on top of the mud, the hopper will collect. So yeah, I will definitely try that and make my farm super efficient. I plan to have like two or three towers in here and have a surplus of paper. Ooh, ignore those. I have to cover those up. I'm heading into the city here to get some more, actually one more villager and then I'm gonna have three down there and I believe that'll be good enough. Well, you can have two, but I'm getting three down there and then I'll start breeding them down in my lab once we make the cloning lab, which was another thing I meant to do today, but I didn't. Hi guys. Oh my God. No netwits allowed in the SSC. We need doctors, astrophysicists, psychologists, you know, smart people. Come on, hurry before they notice there's an escape. Come on. Uh, wait, why am I bringing a farmer down there? Sorry. I have enough farmers and I hate the look of them. <laughs> well, no, they, I don't hate the look of them, but for my science center, it doesn't look good. Oh, I've traded with you. Come on, buddy. 
Look at that. Comfy boat. While I am attempting to get him out of here, I'll answer today's comic question, which is from That Crazy Gorilla Coyote. Do you like older Minecraft before the end update or newer versions of the game more? Ooh. So I have been... Actually, you're going to be a problem. You're going to be in timeout. I actually love older Minecraft. Like, seriously love it. I've been actually on Java Edition, specifically 1.6.4, just because I kind of forgot you can download older versions of Minecraft. I've just been messing around on there. I don't know if that's pre-end update, but... It's still fun to go back and check it out. But that is a really hard decision because older Minecraft, I love how simple it is. You just gather resources and survive and build with the basic blocks you can choose from. But newer Minecraft, like what we are on now, there's so much variety to add details to everything. And honestly, if I were to pick which one to play on, it would be right now, like this version of Minecraft. Older versions are fun to go back to every once in a while, but I do not prefer it over what we have now. Oh, my doggy! I forgot I left him in there. I see Nobbin is still doing good. I love the fact that I can put you guys all throughout the city. I mean, you, the people watching, are all are going to be all the citizens in my city, and I can interact with you in a way. It's just really cool. Speaking of, uh, since this is taking so long, I guess I can thank some of my donors. Joshua Rupinski. Ooh, with a huge dono. I like that name. You can be a Dr. Rupinski. Ooh. Although I don't, I used to do just the last names, but I feel like you guys want to see your whole name, so it'll be Dr. Joshua Rupinski. You can be my intern. Who knows, Joshua? That might be you right here behind me. Hey, look. He, I'm glad he's still alive. <laughs> it looks like he eventually took that workstation, which is good. I forgot who he was. He's the only one in this skyscraper. I <laughs> also want to thank Joshua Novella. Another Joshua. Wow. Thank you for your kind dono as well. Benjamin Clifton for the third time in a row. Jesus, Ben. Super generous of you. Thank you. And Charles Lehirex. Lehirex. Did I say that right? Lehirex? Do you pronounce the L? Or is it just Hirox? Hirox? Charles Lehirex. Thank you. And Kennedy. No. Kenny Kennedy. <laughs> Did your parents do that on purpose? I feel like people would get so tongue twisted every time. Did people ever call you Kennedy Kenny? But thank you, Kenny. Oh, I, see, I, I messed up again. Thank you, Kenny Kennedy. <laughs> Thank you all for your very kind donations. And Joshua Rupinski, you made it in the villager book, of course. And I forgot to add last time, Landon Ownby, you made it in here too. Or Own Bay. However you pronounce it. That's taking forever. I'm going to get him down there, and hopefully next episode I'll have a bunch of villagers running around. I think I'm going to make a vault section, so where it'll be like the housing section where these guys live. I think that would be pretty cool. Similar to like a Fallout vault, but it's the living quarters for the villagers. We'll see how that goes. I'm really into this project right now, so expect me to continue working here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. I can't. I can't emote.